okay, but what about our last remaining obstacle outside? And why are you speaking in the second person? I'm going to take him out. I'm infected. As soon as I step into the void, that heat flash will trigger. Maurice, you've lost it. If I die in here, lockdown mode ends and he gets in. If I die out there, so does he and you, you have a chance. I've been the weak link. It's time to become an asset. Just take Claire, run. No, Reese. Save her. I'm the hero. This is madness. There has to be a way for all of us to survive. Ever the optimist. Bet that's what you always loved about her. <laughs> Why are you talking? No one is referring to you. Well, how are we establishing bonds of friendship right now? That's kind of ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Please. Come on, let's No, 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 look, I chose this, okay? That's how you make a life. Every single choice along the way counts. Also, please stand six feet apart. Oh, I fucking hate you. Oh, we share the same attitude. Except uh, hers more endearing, whereas mine is, come on, man. You know, I went back to that beach and kind of to face it. That woman was there. Dima. She was playing with a little girl. Okay, good. She was not a liar. Oh, that's awesome. She called her Amy. <laughs> I'm sorry for leaving you. It is interesting, though, in the sense that we don't have a cure for this, or have any way to... share the sentiment, though. Or at least we don't know of a cure yet. More than you know. <sighs> why couldn't you be better at hiding a USB flash drive? I still don't understand why you Wait. should... What? What's going on? What is it, Claire? What do you want this time? Switch places with me, Reese. Huh? At this stage, you have a far better chance of surviving than I do. What? Come on. You have all the evidence against Kensington. Okay, so do you. Make sure the world sees it. No, Claire, I'll do it. Drop it. The bioprotector will stop the lab detecting your infection. And you two can escape. Wait, what? But you also have... Oh Come my on. god. Oh, why do I have to choose sacrifice self? I promise we'll expose Natalie and we'll share your story with the world. What did I press? I don't even know what I pressed. Thank you. I pressed Reese, right? Get the fuck out of this thing. Okay, I did. Wait, what? What did I press? Oh, did I say save Reese? Oh, my bad. I meant to save her. That was. That was a big bad. Oh well, I'm not gonna repeat that choice. Lucky day, Reese. You know, the pause function, and I've fiddled with this in the settings, it does not work. Pause on choice, it doesn't work. I've tried on and off, I've tried like, so I've tried different things with it. I've tried this and that, none of it works. So, uh, I wish we had a pause on choice. I would, I would like some time to kind of think about it. Did you do that, Parker? No. I'm sitting here. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, so we're running the GIF, right? The three minute loop. That is so dumb. Why did you even inject yourself in the first place? If you were going to take the nano machines, the Metal Gear Solid nano machines, then why did you even inject yourself? You had the flash drive, you had all the evidence you needed. And what were you gonna do with the nanomachines? I guess I'm missing a large part of the story here. It has been a couple of days since my last Let's Play, but... Chemical threat detected. Heat flash. 
flash initiated. Security Lab Alpha system reset complete. Nailed it, Claire. Nailed it, Claire. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, here's the, oh, looks good here's to the me. loop. Yeah. She's going to get the nano cells. Well done, Amy. I wouldn't have. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> so stupid. Three okay, minutes. three minutes. So what are we gonna do? Are we gonna drain Reese until he's a husk from his? Uh... Okay, so we're not getting the the nano cells. I call them nano machines. How was the gun? Hey, okay. Fucker. Get a machine gun. How are these weapons okay? All right, careful. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Ah! Oh. We have to change out of our lab suits. They'll draw too much attention. How bad is it? Can you see the bone? I'm gonna go to the disabled toilet and grab the fold-up wheelchair, okay? Change quick. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> it must look like a right side. <laughs> Granted, the, it does look kind of cool in terms of, like, composition, but it's so... <laughs> Oh, I'm so disappointed with this purchase. Yes, generic bad guy. So that that's that's why there was no security was helping us out. The security team. It was an inside jab. Okay, there's an exit out of the back of the building. It'll be way less guarded. Right, so what we're we waiting for? Natalie's office is down there. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's. Or, or we shoot up Natalie. We show her what's what. Let's finish what Claire started. On my six, here we come. Stop right there, Amy Tennant. I'm pretty sure if we had checked uh, Amy's office earlier, we would have added like another option. Oh great, what's up oh. here, what's going on? I guess three minutes wasn't long enough. We know Wakefield has nanocells in his system. Hand them over and this can end without bloodshed. Well, that's clearly bullshit. Just do it, Amy. Reason. Natalie's covering up the murder of innocent men, women, and children. Emily, you know this is wrong. I will mac ten your asses. I knew about everything. The nanosol duplicates, the testing in Kinder. I oversaw it all while you're busy fiddling with your test tubes. Now hand him over. You're trapped. Amy, use me. You always said I could sell ice to the Eskimos. Dude, you can't say that. <sighs> Don't use Reese. Wait, what? You? What? Just, just blow him up. Light him up. Pra, pra. Prr, prr. Wait, seriously, what you... You're giving me up! Smartly done, Amy! Yeah. But I get to leave my way. Wait, what? That being. What's going on? What the fuck? What? If you shoot me, I shoot him. What? What? <laughs> Steady. We need to survive. Oh boy. Okay, totally misread that. Um. <laughs> Amy! Yeah, what, what's going on? Okay, cool, we're vibing, we're out. <laughs> Get him back to security lab alpha now! I need Tenant! What the hell? When I thought, it, don't use Reese, I meant like, don't use him as a sacrificial something, but apparently when they said use Reese, you could use him for something else. Also, why are we abandoning the Mech 10? Maybe it's a good idea, actually, hindsight, but I, I don't know. That, that was weird. <laughs> that was a weird turn of events. Unfortunately, there is no chapter select, so I won't be able to replay that 
part specifically. In, in case, you know, we want to try for a different choice or whatever, but... Now we're just sort of... Natalie Kensington, founder of the Kensington Corporation, was today arrested by MI6 on suspicion of crimes against humanity. This follows the discovery of footage linking her to illegal chemical testing on humans in Kandar, which resulted in the deaths of hundreds. The Kandarian Embassy have denied any involvement. Oh, so we're just walking to MI6. Ready for more cryptic bullshit? The complex. Oh boy, where do I start? For what it's worth, I had a good experience. Similar to walking through a well-done queue waiting for a coaster in Disneyland. I'm beginning my FMV journey because of some sudden urge to do so. Starting with I Saw Black Clouds, now this. But full transparency here. Both games I found lacking. Well, at least I think so. Steam buyers will disagree. Yet hear me out. Now, having joined me on this Let's Play series, I can't be alone in this sentiment. Maybe I am and my cynical disposition clouds sensible judgment, but hey, let's go over the plot. Spoiler warning, I will be talking about narrative pivots not shown in this Let's Play. Leave if you need to. Also, before you go, thank you for watching. You're the greatest, I love you. We begin our journey with Dr. Amy Tennant, a war doctor? In Kindar, she helps residents exposed to chemical agents. Alongside is Reese Wakefield, the quick bantered love interest. Maybe they're part of a program similar to Doctors Without Borders or mayhaps an earlier start to the company in charge of the complex, I'm unsure. Here's where we're graced with our first choice, save a pregnant woman or a young man about to enter university. The decision is ultimately insignificant, as there's no plot consequence when this moment is brought up later. Still, it serves to establish rhythm, patterns, and general premise for the player as to what to expect. Typically, two or more choices fly by the screen, while a yellow line, indicating the timer, shrinks. Oh, and I discovered this during my re-record of gameplay footage. Okay, never mind the racy stuff you just saw on screen. Did you just see that? The time runs out and the game pauses. This whole time, I thought you had to make a choice before the clock ran out. So earlier when I was going on about how the function of pausing on choices didn't work, apparently it did, but you had to let the clock go out? Why is that even a thing? Why do you have this graphic? Why couldn't you just say, hey, we have two separate things. One where the clock runs out, then the choice expires, or we don't even show you you're running out of time. And we're back. <laughs> Look, I enjoyed this game's introduction, and I allowed myself to suspend much of my analytical knife because I was drawn in. However, we would skip over the years to present day corporate doctor scientist Amy. Actually, I'm a doctor. No further character development in the moment that seems ace critical to our main protag's journey. Weird, but fine, whatever, okay, we'll press on. Through this boardroom pitch, we discover our good old Amy has discovered, invented, solo made, nano cells. A miracle cure for cellular damage because sci-fi. Hey, I don't hate it, I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff too, but up to this point we know so little about our main protag, you could say she was an undercover agent for MI6 and I'd believe you. I'm with MI6. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna grab my identification. Why is this real? No one looked at the script with scrutinizing eyes and said, No, 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 no. You can't just give her roles for the sake of convenience. I mean, you can, but I frown upon it. Big frown. The complex loses me when their story pacing is frantic, character development surface level, plot holes galore, and worse yet, your choices don't matter. Don't let one out of nine fool ya. Maybe two or three actual, thoughtfully constructed endings? The fluff count is mini scenes with a clip or two with a voiceover if I had to hearken a guess. Here's a mega spoiler for you: War Doctor Amy 
was in on it the whole time, but did nothing to prevent it. Many people died because of it, and she's pretty much our hero. I cut a deal with the Secret Service once I found out about Natalie's actions. You knew already. Anything that happens in the lab I know about. Of course, I found out that Natalie had made duplicates of the Master Batch, so I informed MI6, and they were going to arrest her once I delivered the nanocells in the interests of public safety. And then you happened. Also, Claire Mahik's plan for the nanocells, I'm still trying to get my head around that plan. What was she thinking? What was anyone thinking? Why is no one thinking? Why are you standing on that damn chair? The hammy approach of a super cure, big corporate, and often devastatingly terrible dialogue. Well, there weren't any blood vomiting ladies on my tube line. Oh, wee. Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... There are interesting themes that are lightly touched on without any real commitment, but they are most definitely worth noting, so I'll go over them a little bit here. Reese wrestles with PTSD. Kandarian racism. Post-colonial relationships between former British colonies. Paul Pot reference. Big Pharma. For that, I applaud them, but tiny applause. They don't pursue these superior topics, so it's safe to say no pat on the back for you. If I had to summarize the complex, I would show this scene. What stakes am I raising? What does that mean? Why are both of them the same? Why does choosing Amy mean to kill them all? Fun scene, admittedly, but that's bad game design, no? How does this get a pass? Where is the logic here when communicating to the player what will be performed on screen? Is that too much to ask? I'm actually asking. Am I asking for too much here? So maybe this is just a pattern for a lot of FMV titles. Because they limit themselves in choices and because of the cost of production when it comes to filming different choices and stuff like that, and setting up those, those scenes can take a lot of resources. Oftentimes you get the illusion of choice or the illusion of shaping the story. But in actuality, you don't get that much interactivity for an interactive game. Now, I know there are some tried and tested great FMV games out there, but I wanted to play something more modern and obscure. In doing so, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised by the results. A prevailing thought continues to surprise me as I continue down this FMV rabbit hole. Unlike games developed by Quantic Dreams, Supermassive Games, Telltale Games, and the like, FMVs possess this intriguing possibility in how narrative story-based games in the genre can be explored. They could use a simplified decision-making mechanic surrounded by incredible performances, driven by stories large or small in scale, and catapulted by the love for narrative storytelling. But that is not this FMV. That is not the complex. I have yet to meet that crush. Lounging in the coffee shop with ambiguous jazz blanketing the sound of sporadic chatter, while rain trickles outside amid our moonlit urban sprawl. Am I even talking about the game anymore, or am I reflecting on my own crippling, suffocating sadness, the reality of my loneliness surfacing when least expected? Tell us something we don't know, please. So what are your thoughts on the complex? Granted, if you're just following along on a Let's Play, you only know the game through my point of view, my perspective, my playthrough. Do you disagree? Do you agree? Fight me in the comments. I'm just kidding. Please don't. I'm a very sensitive soul. Alrighty, I will see all of you in the next one. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Get enough? Not really.